here we have the famous Roman fort Arbea at South Shields and I absolutely love this place um, I, I love it for so many reasons like you've got the entrance to the river here you've got a beautiful view across the North Shields and Tynemouth here and you've got this wonderful gatehouse that was reconstructed in the 90s uh, to give an, um, an idea of what it would have looked like now from that gatehouse at the top there you can actually see Wall's End so obviously they could signal to the fort at Segedunum at Wall's End and that's very interesting and over here you have uh, the governor's house or the prefect's house which was likewise reconstructed to give them um, a feel of what it would have been like and the most people know one thing a lot of people know about this fort is that it's got the biggest granaries in the country so there was a ton of grain here that had to be kept here to supply the entire wall so um, this was the main supply fort for the wall obviously you can sail a boat up as far as kind of new Bern, uh, and so they would have been able to do that and supply a lot of the forts from from here so a lot of trade passed through here and you can tell there was a lot of trade passed through here uh, there would have been there would have been olive oil a lot of that and wine as well as grain but also who knows the pro there probably was slaves actually but whatever whatever was passed through here I mean you can tell this was a rich town Arbea was a rich place South Shields was rich and the reason I say that is because down here you've got the strong room now this strong room like I've been to a lot of Roman forts and usually like the baths are sort of uh, added on to the fort are, are kind of a very prominent and kept very well intact or, or there's other parts like the granaries or there's other parts of the fort which are very prominent and very you can see tell are very important but in this place it seems to me like the strong room is the most important thing so i look at this strong room it's massive it, compared to other forts it's like um this might have been one of the biggest strong rooms in the whole empire actually one of uh now what one of the interesting things here that you've got here is you've got these grooves you've got these grooves in the rock and i've never seen these before ever in a roman fort so i don't know what was here but there was kind of posts and railings and like a it was a strong room of course these grooves are very a very interesting feature for me and look at this look at this place it's just uh it's immense now the strong room wasn't just for gold and silver but they would have kept important documents in here and they would have had sentries on duty here and some a desk and a sergeant with a desk and they would have had like a they would have kept the standards in here and you know the eagle standards and all that stuff so it was for very important things but obviously of course the roman empire was based on silver so there was a lot of coinage kept here as well and so this just shows you really how important uh, trade was for our beer and how rich south shields would have been back in the day